No rear rats. I'm actually not squatting in somebody's half-finished house. But I can totally see why you might think that. Now my buddy Chris, he uh, used to shark fish with him a lot back and they hadn't seen him forever. And he said, sure, you can stay here, I guess. It doesn't have like all the amenities of home, but like, you know, running water. I do have a sweet portage on though, so I have that going for me. Anyway, there's been a few fish caught, but overall it's been pretty less than stellar. So I'm gonna hop in my truck and go look for greener pastures. So let's go. Well, step one, things are looking up after about two hours of throwing the net. This is where we're at right now. And uh, yeah, got some big dogs and suckers, surprise suckers. And then the wild card bait caught a mullet, not a tiny one either. Well, we're finally going catfishing and I feel good about it. I mean, if there's fish here, it's not gonna be, bait's not gonna be the reason we don't catch them. And we are pre-front right now, but it seems like every other day is pre-front down here. All right, let's, let's talk less and fish more because I haven't got to fish much. I feel better about my bait situation than how I'm anchored, but there's not much current here. There's waves and wind and nothing to control my direction. So we'll see how it shakes out. I'm gonna put out the two with the rattle and then I'm gonna go a double hook rig on the other because we have beta plenty and it makes me feel good, real good. Still a little anxious though, new water. You never know what to expect. Marked a pile of fish right here, but who knows if they're even catfish. Could be like giant carp. I think I'm gonna dismantle this mullet. I mean, we got mullet. I feel like I have to use some mullet. There we go. Mullet filet. These things are gross. They eat nothing but vegetation, so their poop is like poop green. Go with some smaller baits. Whatever I don't use right now, I'm gonna bag it up. That'll work. Go get them, buddy. That's uh, about landed right on their heads. Whatever you guys are. Hopefully you're big, fat blue cats. Big, fat, angry ones. You know what? I'm just gonna put that big dog head chunk out. It's already got a 10 on ready. And if that bait gets hit, I'm gonna be pretty excited. There's a lot to like about that bait. Surprised this is where I marked them, to be quite honest. I'm quickly realizing I probably should have put sunscreen on. I forget these things because it's January, but I am a ginger. So there's that. It's my make si make makeshift makeshift drift sock. Did all right. Also does an exceptional job of holding cast nets. Come here, anchor. Go back to your home. I know you're going to be hung on rocks, but you don't want to stay down there right on top of you. Yes, got him out. Love how light this anchor is. Wasn't much current here though, so you don't really need a heavy anchor. That one's really nice to, uh, don't feel like you're gonna kill yourself lifting that one over and over. Buried it pretty decent. I don't think he's gonna set any records, but he might be making some progress here. He's spinning like a cold, lethargic blue cat. It's kind of fun when you mark them and then you catch them. I 
should eat you. I won't today, but later I might. All right, see you, bud. No. Oh, I thought he was going to be a little more serious. Didn't mark any big fish, but I mean, they're fish. When all else fails, go to a dam. Come back. Or not. Whatever. Nope. Oh, you heard me. Yep, there he is. I think he's a another cookie cutter. Cool. Fish. Not big. But fish. And definitely a blue. Oh, not definitely a blue. Huh. You're a nice hybrid. Come here. <laughs> Are you striper? Oh. You're a striper. It's my first freshwater striper in a long time. Pleasant surprise. Holy twisted lines. Bow! Mm. Just like the last striper I caught. Well, that uh, definitely makes my day. Not big. It's got stripes. I like fish with stripes. Sweet. They release good in this weather, too. Yep, definitely a blue crowd. Those fish on the bottom. Holy cow. I wonder if this is tangled from him or if it was just tangling. Yeah, I'm going to redo that later. Man, this is such a breath of fresh air after uh, not catching crap since I've been down here. Get some good bait and then it's like everything's right in the world. That big bait got smacked by something. He dropped it. That's a big bait. Must not have been a real, real big one then. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe he's on there and just carrying it. It's, I don't know, it's so hard to tell. There's a lot of boat sway. Yeah, I think he is carrying it. Oh yeah, oh, he came off. Yeah, he carried it a long ways. He just never really buried it. Yeah, that was big old sucker head. That was a nicer fish. What can you do? Stuff's happening though. Should have just let him take it down. All the way down. Hindsight's 2020 though. It's just weird how he carried it all the way over like that. Not real characteristic, although there's not a lot of current. Who knows what it is down here? The land of the unknown. Big bait got pecked on again. Kind of, I don't know, the, the more I thought about that one I missed, the more I think I just botched a flathead. Should be weird to catch a flathead in January. Anywhere, honestly. Probably give her another five, 10 minutes, like I was originally planning. There's another one, another something. It's coming to the top. 
Is it another striper? Maybe. Would not surprise me a bit at this point in time. It's a fish. Kind of. Striper. Yep. That's funny. Not a bad one either. I knew you guys were here. Oh, you're mad. Come here. Oh, you're big and fat. Holy cow. It's a dang nice fish. I ain't complaining about you guys. Jeez. Chunker. <laughs> That's sweet. I don't know. It's just nice to have something put a bend in the fishing line. See ya. That big head's getting messed with again. Not going to do anything until he folds it, though. It would be sweet if he'd fold it, though. I don't know what it is about being anchor anchored in the middle of the river below a dam, but I really enjoy it. Especially when you never know. Like, seriously, you have no idea what you're going to catch. I enjoy that kind of fishing. I wonder if I could throw, like, a little chunk and catch more stripers. I don't know. I'm going to try it, though. Or try that plus drop a sabiki down. Hmm. The downfall of the sabichis. They tangle in everything. I know they make a sabiki rod, but I don't use them enough to warrant getting one. I might change one of these days. Who knows? Oh, that's a good fish. Wow, he folded it. Stay button there, bud. Yeah, I turned the handle and it's nothing but drag. It's either a real big striper or a real nice blue cat. Should probably get the net, huh? Oh yeah, there's weight there. Oh. Thanks for the pleasant surprise there, bud. I just looked down and I was buried. Oh yeah, real nice blue cat. Oh. Here, net. You folded it like I prefer them to, so I thank you for that. Yeah, real nice fish. Come here. Gotcha. Barely. But barely will work. Sweet. Man, he just laid into it. Okay. Thank you. My speakies are still a mess, and I don't care. I was just thinking about uh, rebaiting that one. Good bait makes everything better, and uh, I don't know. Pretty Pretty um, can't say words right now, but yeah, yeah. Good bait makes all the difference in the world. He's bleeding a little bit, probably because I punched a hole in his lip. But uh, I like to think of it as like a piercing. <sighs> I appreciate how you just uh, laid it over there, bud. Okay. See ya. New Jetsons off. Now I have a mess to untangle. In case anyone was wondering, he smushed the shad head, I believe. I don't know. Might have to review the footage, take it to uh, the instant replay. As long as it's not the Big Ten officials, I think we'll probably get it right. I'm going to move this ceviche to the other side of the boat if I'm going to be casting on this side, though. Would be sweet to pick up a few skippies. That'd be extra yippy skippy.
I was um, sharpening the hook for the big bait, and then this one flat lines again. Same rod, same spot. Not quite as big as the last one, I don't think. But a nice fish nonetheless. We're gonna move this one slightly over. Yeah, pretty dang nice fish. Oh yeah, porker. Every time I think about moving, this happens. It's wonderful. Yes, nice blue cat. Stay out of that other line. Thank you, I think. Close, close. I'm gonna get him up here so he's out of those lines. Yeah, another nice one. Come here. Stay in there. This is so nice to have pretty much the entire river to myself. Uh, this is pretty entertaining tangle. The old double hook rig, just doing its thing. Surprise. They are a pain to tie, they tangle. They catch fish. Man, another nice one. <laughs> I don't know, I'll take blue cats like this all day. It's not monstrous, but they're a good time. I like having a good time. And this is a, yeah, like I've literally threw the cast net for 12 hours. I might need rotator cuff surgery and finally found some bait. And then catching these is just icing on the cake. Peace, dog. Get her back out there. Well, that completely folded in half. Beasts, what are you? <laughs> Just looked over and it was heading down river. It hasn't ripped any drag. But he doesn't feel light. Well, he could definitely pull drag if he's any good at all. Little blue. Thanks, buddy. Appropriate size for the tackle I'm using, even. Man, I love how they're just little porkers. I find that really amusing. I mean... He's got this cute little face and this porky little belly. Even the little guys hit it hard. Thanks. Another, man, I was just thinking about leaving. Ooh, pull a little drag there, bud. Still trying to pull some drag. I don't remember what bait this is. I do realize real quick it's a nice fish though. Man, they just keep coming. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try a different spot. Rod folds in half. Yeah, this is a nice fish or he's coming in sideways. Or it's both. He's not moving real easy. Let's see. Yeah, he's, oh, he ain't bad at all. No. He, he might be the big fish of the day. Ow, he's a nice one. <laughs> do I leave? Or do I just stay here and keep catching fish? Come here, Ned. Uh, he's doing what blue cats do. Just get all tangled and such. 
here. Oh, stay. Got him, kinda. He doesn't like the net. Get in there. Get in there. Yep. Okay. He's mine. That's it's a pretty nice fish, guys. Get over there. Oh. Double up. Oh, tripping over fishing rods. This one isn't nearly as big, which might be a blessing because uh, we got a lot of chaos. Fishing rods went flying. <laughs> Oh man, he's been messing with for a little while. He ain't bad. He ain't got near the way to that other one. He ain't bad. Okay, we're gonna let you hang off the side of the boat, bud. While I worry about your dad, big dad. Any fishing poles break? It's not here, so that's a small victory. You're a big old porker. Well, good way to end the video. A nice double, a double. And uh, man, they're just jerks today. Oh, pff. stop. Okay. Yeah, they're just jerks today. I think they're just wound up with this front moving through tonight, but uh. That's a good one to end on. I guess I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed catching these fish after getting my face punched in by the uh, by the river the last few days. But um, yeah, it makes the guy feel less dumb to come out and have a good day on the water. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> hit the like button, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. But either way, hope you enjoyed the video. That fish is very distracting. If you want to check out my podcast, check out my podcast. It's linked in the description. I'd really appreciate that. I think I'm going to go try a different spot. See what happens. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.